Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to patch gallery items in Power Apps to SharePoint list and we will cover both single and bulk items. Now let me introduce myself. I am Harita working as a Power Platform Consultant and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe for more tutorials on Power Apps. Before getting to the implementation, let me show you a quick demo. Here I have a SharePoint list named Employee Leave Request which is having the columns like Leave Title, Employee Name, Leave Type, Start and End Dates and Leave this department and the status manager name and uh, approver comments here this leave request needs two levels of approvals once the approver one approves it moves to the approver two so that's why in the status column we have status values like pending approved rejected for both approver one and approver two and the default value is approver one pending and, and this approver comments which is a multi-line text column which stores the comments of uh, both approver 1 and approver 2 while uh, they are approving or rejecting this leave request. So here in this Power Apps dashboard I have a gallery control which stores all the employee leave request and here I have a form control so this will display the full details of the gallery selected items and I have an approve and reject button to approve or reject this leave request and uh, here you can see approve or comments which is in a edit field so I can also provide the comments when I click on this approve button in the gallery you can see the status of this leave request is updated as approver to pending that is because when approver 1 is approve this leave request then the status will be updated as a approver to pending for example if if i am providing another comments like approver to approved now i am clicking this approve button you can see the status value is updated as a approver to approved and uh, approver to approved is the final status same way we can also reject this one so you can see approver one is rejected so this way i can approve or reject the gallery selected item now in the sharepoint list you can see the status value of the first leave request is updated as approver 2 and the approver comments also you can see for it is storing both approver 1 and approver 2 comments and for the second leave request also it is updating so with the help of the power apps patch we we updated the status value and approver comments now we will see how to patch multiple items in gallery to sharepoint list in the SharePoint list, I have manually changed the status of the first two leave request for patching bulk items present in the Power Apps Gallery to SharePoint list. Now in the Power Apps application, you can see I have a select all uh, checkbox control. When I click on this one, you can see the checkboxes present in the gallery all are selected. So I can provide the comments here like uh, approver one approved. When I click on this approve button, the approver 1 pending will be updated as approver 2 pending for each leave request present in the gallery control. It will be helpful when we want to update the status and the comments at a time for bulk items from the Power Apps gallery. So now again I click on this uh, select all. So this time I can provide another comment like uh, rejecting like approver 2 rejected. When I click on this reject button you can see the status of each item present in the gallery is updated now we will also check in the SharePoint you can see here the status is updated as a approver to rejected and approver comments also stored so this way we can patch the single gallery selected item and bulk items from the power apps gallery to SharePoint list now let's get into the implementation now in the power apps application the very first thing we need to do is add the SharePoint list to this power apps application from the data section now in the new screen add a gallery control here I already added now for the galleries items property provide that SharePoint list name and here to differentiate the gallery selected item provide this uh, template fill property with the with the following code and here I have provided if this item dot is selected I have provided this uh, cement color otherwise it will be in the white color and in this gallery to display the status of each leave request I have provided this item dot status dot value for the text property of this text label and to differentiate the status value we can provide the code for the fill property now, now I am replacing that the code with 
this code and here you can see if this item dot status value is approver one pending then this light blue color will be displayed and if our approver one is rejected then the this color will be displayed and base and here based on the status value i have provided different different color so in the gallery you can see the status value background color is changed based on its status now add one form control to display the gallery selected items full details and here for the data source i have provided that sharepoint list name and to display the gallery selected item i have provided the gallery name dot selected for the item property of this uh, form control and uh, here you can see the gallery name is gal hyphen employee emp leave request which is same as i have provided in this item property so it will display whatever i selected in the gallery now it is displaying full details of the selected gallery item and here the date the display mode of this form control is um, edit mode only and here for each field present in this uh, form control i make it as a view mode I here you can see i made it as a view mode except the approver comments uh, that is because uh, the approver needs to provide the comments uh, the approvers cannot edit the employee submitted details except the approver comments so i have made except this approver comments uh, remaining all i took display mode as a view mode now add two button controls for approve and reject here i have already added and you can see in its on select property i have provided some code and you no need to worry about the code in the description box below i have provided a link there you can get all this code and here you can see the gal uh, emp leave request which is the gallery name and um, this employee leave request is a state uh, sharepoint list name and the status and approver comments are the field names from the sharepoint list and here the data card value 18 is the uh, approver comments data card value name here you can see the data card value 18 which is an uh, approver comments in the form control now here this code checks the current status of the selected uh, leave request in the gallery and here you can see i have provided that gallery dot selected dot status dot value is approver one pending then using this patch function i am updating the status and approver comments for that item so when the status value is approver one pending then the status is updated as approver two pending and whatever present in data card value 18 that will be updated to this approver comments field present in the sharepoint list at the same time if the gallery selected items status value is approver to pending then with the patch function we are updating the status value as approver to approved and the whatever context present and whatever text present in the data card value 18 that will be updated to this approver to comments uh, field present in the sharepoint list so whenever we click on this um, approve button based on its status value its status updated and approver comments also stored so same code i have written for this reject button also but the thing is if the approver one is pending when we click on this reject button the status value will be updated as approver one rejected at the same time comments comments also stored to the sharepoint list if the status value is approver two pending then when we click on this reject button the status value will be updated as approver two rejected and also it will store the uh, comments present in data card value 18 now let's preview the app one when i click on an item in the gallery those items well those items full details are displayed in this form control now i will uh, provide some comments for this leave request now i am clicking on this approve button the status value is updated in the leave request in the gallery itself now let's see another one for this leave request i am rejecting and i am pro clicking this reject button here you can see the approver one is rejected for this one if i am providing another comments and and when i click on this approve button the status is updated as approver to approved this way we can patch the gallery selected item to sharepoint list now we will see the implementation for patching the bulk items present in the gallery to sharepoint list achieve this one here simply add one checkbox control within this uh, power apps gallery and remaining all things keep it same so for this checkbox remove the text property and uh, provide the following code on its on check property like create one collection to store the sel uh, gallery selected item so while previewing this 
when I am selecting this item you can see in the collection it will store one row which means the present selected item detail is stored here now to uncheck the so when we click on this uh, check uh, check box uh, that item detail will be stored in this collection at the same time when we uncheck this check box at that time it needs to remove the selected item details right so for that one we need to provide uh, another formula on its on check proper on uncheck property of the check box so add remove if condition and provide that collection name collection items comma it have the id which is a unique column id equal to this item dot id so when we when we uncheck uh, the checkbox present in the power apps gallery so that items id will be matched with the id present in this collection and using this remove if function we are removing that item from the collection and you can also see when i am previewing this i have unchecked this one now we will check the collection once here I am click on this variables and here you can see the collection item table is zero rows. We will also see the table once see which is a blank. So it is removing the uh, selected item when we uncheck that one. So now we have we will also pre two more things. I have checked four items. Now the collection need to needs to store all these four items. Here you can see this collection is having four rows which stores that uh, selected four rows. And again when I uncheck these things, when I uncheck the gallery selected items, the collection again the collection again becomes uh, empty which which containing zero rows and it is blank now. Now we need to add another checkbox control outside this gallery. So when we click on this select all checkbox, it needs to select all the checkboxes present in this gallery so that we can uh, at a time pro approve or reject. So from the plus insert tab, add one checkbox control from the classic one, provide the select all text for this text property of the checkbox control. When we click on the select all checkbox, it needs to select all items present in the gallery, right? So we need to provide a formula on its uncheck property that will collect all the data from the gallery. For that reason, we need to take the previous collection only. But this time, we are going to provide uh, instead of this item, we need to uh, get all the items. So I am providing the SharePoint list name. Which so when we click on this uh, select all it will select all the items present in this um, gallery and this gallery is containing all the items present in the sharepoint list right so we will check the collection and here you can see that the collection is containing six rows and uh, in the sharepoint list also you can see when i click on this select here it is showing six are selected so six rows are only present whatever the rows present in the sharepoint list all it is uh, stored in this collection when we uncheck this uh, checkbox control that time it needs to clear uh, all the data present in the collection right so we need to use the clear function to remove all the data present in that collection name so i have provided this code the collection items is the collection name now let's preview the application once here i am uncheck that uh, select all checkbox now we will see the collection see the collection is containing zero rows now let's see the code for approve and reject buttons and here you can see i updated the code and this code iterates over each item present in this uh, collection items so that's why i use it for all function and it performs updates based on each item status like if the status is approver one pending using this patch function we are updating the status value as approver two pending and here the dcv approver comments is the data card value for the approver in the the data card value name i changed as dcv approver comments so whatever text present in this data card value that will also be included while updating the status and if the status value is approver to pending then the status will be updated as approver to approved at the same time it will also include so each item in this collection is processed individually and applying the updates based on the current status but the thing here is i have changed uh, switch function instead of if condition and you can also see previously i am taking a gallery dot selected uh, dot status value for comparing the status and this time i am using this record that is because we 
आर टेकिंग द कलेक्शन इंस्टेड ऑफ द गैलरी सेलेक्टेड सो बिकॉज फिर वी आर परफॉर्मिंग बल्क आइटम सो वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग दिस रिकॉर्ड डॉट स्टेटस डॉट वैल्यू एंड वाइल पैचिंग ऑल्सो इंस्टेड ऑफ गैलरी डॉट सेलेक्टेड वी आर टेकिंग दिस रिकॉर्ड लेट्स see the code for reject button on select the property here also i used the for all function and uh, using for all function to iterate over each item present in this collection and uh, the condition is same only if the approver one is pending then the status will be updated as approver one rejected and it will also include the comments present in this uh, data card value of the approver comments and same if the approver to pending if the status is approver to pending then the status will be updated as approver to rejected and also it will include the comments from this um, approver comments the data card now save the changes and preview the application once and here you can see when i am clicking on this select all it will select all the items in the gallery and i am providing one comments approver one approved and now i am clicking this approve button it is updating each leave request to present in the sharepoint list that is status update updation you can see in the gallery itself now this time i am rejecting this rejecting all the leave request so i am providing up to what to rejected now when i am clicking this reject button you can see the status of each leave request is updated as approver to reject this way we can uh, patch bulk items from the power apps gallery to sharepoint list here you can also check the sharepoint list when i am refreshing this one the status value also updated and comments also updated i hope you understand patching gallery items to sharepoint uh, for both single and bulk items and thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel